and welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Velasquez and this is Piano Tutorials lesson number five. I'm so glad that you are keeping up and following up all the piano tutorials and just wait because I will keep bringing these tutorials, these lessons and remember that we are following up a book that's called Adult All-in-One Lessons all-in-one course, adult all-in-one course, lesson theory and technique, piano method book. So that's what I'm following up and um, if you want to continue following up these lessons, please purchase the book so that you know exactly what we're talking about every single time. So today we're going to be jumping around a little bit because if you're looking at the book, there's a lot of uh, rhythms and concepts and vocabulary that you would have to read and understand. One of them is the intervals. Uh, intervals are the distance between each note, the distance between tones, right? So we have intervals of seconds, thirds, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on, right? So there are two mini lessons on um, page number 24 that will mirror or review a little bit of these intervals and I uh, will be playing three of them and I want you to follow along. I will put the metronome at 90. I think that's a good tempo. And let's do it. Right, that was the first exercise and that those were intervals of seconds and thirds right so if we have three notes C D E from C to E will be an interval of third and from C to D will be an interval of second so I hope you're catching up the next two songs are also going to exercise or review intervals of second and thirds but they're also adding something called dynamics Dynamics is pretty much how loud or soft you're going to play your music. If you see a P, a letter P, below your music, that means piano. And piano means soft. And if you see an F or an MF, mezzo forte, that means not so loud. And if it's forte, it is loud, right? So the first song is going to be Claire de la Lune. And that's going to be piano, very soft. And the second one is tisket a tasket, and that's going to be mezzo forte, so a little bit louder. So I hope you could uh, hear the difference in dynamics. The first song was piano, the second song was mezzo forte, so a little bit louder. We also have something called harmonic intervals. So intervals, without the harmonic, <laughs> intervals are when you play them one first and then the second one. For example, an interval of second, C and D, because if they're right next to each other, it will be, right? Interval of third, C, D. And so on, those are intervals. Now, when you play them together, those are harmonic intervals. So a harmonic interval of second will be C and D together. A harmonic interval of third will be a C and an E together. Right? So in the next page, page 26, you're going to see an exercise of harmonic intervals. The first one, it starts with the right hand 
intervals of second and thirds, and then it goes to the left hand, intervals of second and third. Right? And then there's a song right after that called Rocking Intervals. So it's gonna go, it's gonna jump from the right hand to the left hand doing uh, intervals of second and third. And it goes like this. And to finish this lesson, we are going to play Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells is really easy to practice uh, the intervals with because on the left hand, we're going to have harmonic intervals of fifth and fourth. And uh, it's going to look something like that on the left hand. You have a C and a G. And then interval of fourth, a G and a D go back to fifth so that's all you do and then the right hand will be playing the melody so here we go Thank you so much for watching thank you so much for following along i hope that you are learning something and remember leave me a review leave me a comment subscribe because if you know anybody that wants to learn how to play piano or if you find these videos helpful subscribe share the video with someone that you know wants to learn piano and just leave me a review leave me a comment let me know uh, if you are liking them so that i can either continue doing it in the same way or maybe improving and uh, just finding better ways to bring these lessons to you. And very, very soon I will be doing them in Spanish also. I'm very excited about that. So thank you so much and see you next time. Mm -hmm.